Hi everyone, good day. Welcome to today's video. So uh, my name is Donny, and for today we are going to show you how you can create a sum ifs, multiple sum ifs, but merge them into just one sum ifs. Okay, so it's like when you have two conditions that you want to satisfy, and those conditions belong to the same column then how can you create a, a shorter formula instead of using a multiple sum ifs? So to start, let's see what we're trying to solve here. So let's say that I want to count, I want to get the sum of all the sales of uh, Carlo, Andrea, and Tomas. So Carlo, Andrea, and Tomas. So that's three conditions. And that would mean that if we are not familiar with the shorter solution, we would be doing three sum ifs. So we will sum ifs uh, column F, and then we will get column B, and then Andrea. But the thing is, that will only be Andrea. If you are uh, thinking of putting another condition like under column B, and then it's going to be um, Carlo, let's say, that would be a zero because Carlo and Andrea belong to the same column. And they're not really conditions that help each other. They're contradicting uh, conditions. Like you cannot be Carlo and Andrea at the same time under column B. So the traditional solution would be to separate another sum ifs. And this time, it's going to be column F, column B, and then this time, Carlo. And you get the answer to the question. So this is the combined sum ifs of the two. However, you can imagine how problematic this can get if you have more conditions and you have like more a lot of sum ifs to solve that. So how do we solve this problem? Okay. And in this uh, tutorial, we're going to discuss how to use arrays with sum ifs. So to start, we're going to uh, solve this and see if we get the same result. So we're going to do a sum ifs. And then, of course, you, start, you have to start with the column of the numbers that you're supposed to add. In this case, column F. And then we're going to set the condition to be under column B. However, because we have two conditions under column B, we will not just type the first one as it is. We have to use what we call arrays. So arrays combine values into just one argument making it shorter. So to do that, I'm going to start with Andrea and then Carlo. So I have to type those values because if I'm going to do something like this, then uh, you cannot use cells. You have to type them. And take note that if I stop here, just sum ifs column F, column B, Andrea, Carlo, you will get a prompt that says you entered too few arguments. And the problem is that a sum is function should always have an odd number of argument because we should have, of course, the numbers and then it should come in pairs. So column B and yeah, and color should also be given its own column. But we learned a while ago that if we give another column B, it will just be a, an error. So what we're going to do is we're going to put Andrea and Carlo, our two conditions, inside curly brackets. So curly brackets is a sign that you're converting this into an array. So our array has two values, Andrea or Carlo. And if we stop here and we hit enter, what you will get are two cells. And these two cells okay, represent the total or sum if of Andrea, that's the first one, and Carlo, the second one, given that that was the arrangement of our array, Andrea first and then Carlo. The thing is, we don't really need the individual answers, but if this is what you need, then we got the answer already. But if not, then you have to use sum because sum will aggregate the two cells that this sum ifs function produced. So here we have the same answer as the one with the long uh, solution wherein two sum ifs were used. Now take note. That again, you can add many conditions. Like, let's say I'm going to add another person. Let's say I'm going to add Tomas in the list. And you simply have to uh, type it in the array side of the formula. 
hit enter, and you got an updated answer. Take note that arrays cannot use cells inside them. So if I attempt to do that, okay, so I'm going to change this into cells, like I'm going to get it from here, which actually you should not do. And as you can see, we cannot even click cells. So cells are not allowed within curly brackets. So it's only text values that you can put here. So I'll escape that. Now this is uh with this will also work if you're trying to count. Okay. Um Andrea Carlo or Tomas. So for example, I'm going to say count ifs. And then I'm going to count ifs under column B if it's Carlo or Andrea or Thomas. So as you may already know, count ifs doesn't really need any numbers to add. So you only need the condition. And here we have uh, three cells as expected. It's a spelling formula. So the first number represents Carlo, then Andrea, then Thomas. And if you want to consolidate it, we simply have to use sum or whatever operation you want. So enter and you get the result as 10. So I hope this video helped you. And if this is the reason why you went to this uh, page, if this video helped you, we would appreciate a like and subscribe in the channel. It really helps us uh, content creators okay, um, do more videos for you. If you have any questions, feel free to use the comment section and I'll be glad to answer your question as soon as I can. Um, that's it for today and I'll see you in the next video.